We will be burning a music CD. Music CDs come in two flavors, the older, older audio CDs and the newer MP3 CDs. Each type has its merits. Audio CDs are measured in minutes. They are compatible with more CD players than MP3 CDs. They can have richer sound than MP3 CDs if they are created from an uncompressed source, such as a WAV file. MP3 CDs are measured in megabytes. You can have 5 to 10 times more music on a single CD, but the music is compressed and can lose some of its richness. MP3 CDs will not play on some CD players, but most newer CD players can play them. We are going to be using Windows Media Player because it is included in Windows and pre-installed on all Windows computers. Windows Media Player can burn both types of music CDs. There is no software cost involved, but it is not as easy as some standalone CD burners. Music CDs should be created on CDR media. Most CD players won't be able to read RW CDs because it requires more advanced technology. To get started, close all open applications. Insert the blank CD in the drive. Select Windows Media Player from the list. If it does not appear, open the Windows Media Player from the Start menu. Next, you'll select the Burn tab. We need to check some settings before we can burn. Click on the Burn Options triangle. Click on Audio CD for a CD that can be played on most CD players. Data CD if you're going to create an MP3 disc. Click on the More Options triangle again. Click More Burn Options. And we're going to sec select the burn speed. Medium's good, slower is better. And you'll also want to change the data format to M3U for your MP3 CDs. This format is understood by more players. If you've made any changes, click Apply, then click OK. Now you're going to select your tracks that you want to um, burn, and you're going to drag them over to the burn list. Check the amount of time. Even though there are only 79 minutes of music here with 80 minutes free, this is not going to fly. This is too much to burn on the CD. As a guideline, an 80 minute CD can only reliably hold 70 minutes of music. Delete some songs from the burn list. Then you want to give the disc a meaningful name. Burn list doesn't do it for me. So we change the name to Steely Dan Disc 1. And we're going to click on Start Burn. After the burn is completed, you can clear the list, add more songs, and create another disc. Here are some tips for successfully creating music CDs. Use CDR media for standalone CD players. Don't overfill the disc. Leave at least 10 minutes for burning overhead. 
Use a slower burn speed. Use the more common M3U format for MP3 CDs. Burning takes precise timing. Don't try to use your computer to do something else while the burn is going on. Make sure that updates and virus scans are up to date. If the PC launches a background virus scan or a background download or perhaps even an autosave, you are likely to end up with a coaster. Thanks for listening.